Hello everyone, uh, my name is Leith al Shamale, and uh, today I'm going to give you a, a brief review uh, of how to use the Unified Soil Classification System uh, for purposes of passing the FE exam uh, civil discipline, civil engineering discipline. So uh, I have a previous video on this ash still classification system and today we're going to look at uh, an example problem for the Unified Soil Classification System, or USCS. So we have here a, a sample uh, that has the following characteristics. So basically they've done a, a sieve analysis curve and this is, and they've done some Atterberg limits and this is the numbers that they have uh, obtained from those tests. And if you wanna know a little bit more about the tests, refer to the other videos that I have. So here we have a percent fine of 68%. And uh, we have a liquid limit of 70% and a plastic limit of 48%. What is the classification of the soil using the unified soil classification system? So in the last example problem, I was using the 9.5 manual. This is the 10.0.1 .1 FE manual. And so this will be effective in July. So anybody taking the exam in July 2020, this is the new manual. And it's very similar for the, for the geotech engineering section of the manual, except for uh, they have made it kind of, uh, instead of cramming stuff together, they've basically made more space between equations and added more pages so that everything fits in nicely. So if we go uh, to page 226 on the FE manual, uh, again, it's the 10.1.0.1 uh, uh, manual. We're going to look at here at the unified uh, soil classification system or USCS, so that's the Unified Soil Classification System. Now, in our particular question, uh, we have, uh, if I remember correctly, okay, 68% fines. So here, how do you use this uh, soil classification system? You always start on the left-hand side and keep going forward and see, is this in your, um, givens or not. So for example, we have here 50% or more passing the number 200 sieve. And we know that the number 200 sieve uh, defines anything passing that defines our fine uh, portion. So we have 68% passing uh, the number 200 because it's the question told us that we have 68% fines, which means fines, those are passing the number 200 sieve. And now we go to the right side and we look at what is the criteria here. We have a liquid limit less than 50 or a liquid limit 50 or more. Now, in our question, uh, the liquid limit is 70. So right here, it's 70. So we keep going forward. So the liquid limit is... 70 so it's 50 percent or more now we continue to the right side so we're not in this area we're at the bottom portion now here you have inorganic or organic so take note if the question says something about having organics then you need to take a look at this side but because our question did not mention organics we're going to assume that it's inorganic and now we keep going to the right side. Now it says here, PI plots on or above line A, or the PI plasticity index plots below line A. It's either a CH, so clay high plasticity, or silt, M refers to silt, silt high plasticity. Now, what is this chart that they're referring to? This chart is right here. It's a Casa Grande chart, and it can be easily used to uh, classify soils. So in our particular case, 
we have a liquid limit of 70. That's our liquid limit. And we have a plastic limit of 48. So right here to enter the chart, we need the plasticity index. And the plasticity index is equal to the liquid limit minus the plastic limit. And so we have 70 minus 48, and that's equal to 22. And so now we can enter the chart because we have the liquid limit and we have the plasticity index. And remember, this chart is for fine-grained soils. So we go from the x, uh, y axis straight with a straight line. And then from the 70, which is our liquid limit given in our question, we see where do we fall. So we fall in, in if you imagine this as being a whole quadrant, this is it right here. This is a quadrant. So now, and like, let me try this maybe. So you see here, there's a quadrant, here there's a quadrant, here there's a quadrant and here. And remember, it said that if the plots below line A, so this is line A right here, correct? This is line A. And we plot below line A. So again, O stands for organics, and we don't have any organics. So we're going to go with MH, so silt, high plasticity silt. The H refers to high plasticity, and the M refers to silt. And with that, we have the answer to our question. What is the classification of the soil? It's an MH. It's a silt with high plasticity.